Donald Trump wasn't elected because he was a saint. Donald Trump was elected because he believes in the Constitution. He didn't have to do this job. Uh, I wanted you to know that about three years ago, and this I'd like everybody to kind of hear, even in the back. About three years ago, a group of generals came to me, and it was explained to me they were, gonna, they were ready to conduct a coup d'etat. They were ready to move Barack Obama from office with military force. And then a few weeks later, I got another call and said that they were reconsidering. You know why they were reconsidering? Because they talked to Donald Trump. And Trump had agreed, Trump agreed that he would run. And they agreed that if he would run, they would conduct their coup d'etat as a legitimate process, re rooting out the traitors within government. And that pact between the military and Donald Trump has held. As we've been interpreting and watching, and Alex has been following QAnon, QAnon is military intelligence and close to Trump. And the intelligence we're getting that we've explained on InfoWars really is a lot of the inside script. Now, everybody says Donald Trump is going to lose. He's going to be out of office. He's going to be impeached. You watch CNN and MSNBC. They're throwing a party today. And all the 20 people watching them across the nation are very enthused. <laughs> Donald Trump will not be removed from office. He will not be removed from office. Yeah. And in the, in the counterattack he's going to launch, one or two facts that could change everything. Get the, a report from Michael Horowitz, the Inspector General, who details the corruption within the Department of Justice. Donald Trump is right. Maybe we should tear down the FBI building and start over again. And if you take a look at the depth of this corruption, it's pervasive since George H.W. Bush, the bureaucrats who have stayed, including these SES bureaucrats who are there mostly permanently, they're globalists. They don't believe in America anymore. They think they're smarter than America, smarter than the Founding Fathers. We ought to revise the Constitution. They are, there's a very simple word that describes what they are. Traitors. Traitors. It's a capital crime. And I want to predict to you here today that when the tables turn, Donald Trump will be invoking military tribunals. And even Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are going to be facing treason charges.